the ATKV VRF high voltage transistor. Its load capacity is 0.1 Hz slash 0.5 μF, 0.5 Hz slash 1 μF, 0.02 Hz slash 2.5 μF. This is a controller. This black one is booster 1. The other black one is booster 2. The red one is the capacity. Now let's start to connect the cables. This is the ground wire. Firstly, let's connect the ground wire to the capacitor. Then connect the ground wire to booster 1. And connect the ground wire to booster 2. First, finally, connect the ground wire to controller. Every time before the testing, please pour a little transformer oil into the tube of booster 2. This zero port cable connects the booster 1 and the booster 2. And please ensure the cable inserted to the end and they are wearing form firmly. This one is a ATKV high voltage output cable. Slowly insert it to the end and tighten up. Then connect the other end to the capacitor. These are two control cables. Please put one end, please put an end of one cable into booster one's input one port. Put the other end into controller's output one port. Then put an end of the other cable into booster 2's input 2 port. And put the other end into controller's output 2 port. At last, connect the power cable. Turn on the power. This is a function key. This is a ground port. These two output ports are for controller to connect booster 1 and booster 2. This is a printer. This is a display screen. Now we are on parameter setting interface. There are three values for frequency to choose. We can set the testing time through timing setting. We can set the test voltage. We can set the overcurrent protection value through current limit. We can set over voltage protection value through voltage limit. 
Click Return. We are on standby interface. Then click Boost to boost the voltage. The left side of the screen shows testing data. The right side is waveform. Let's wait. Wait. It's still boosting. That's still waiting. We need to vote, uh, wait the voltage up to 80 kV. Okay, now we can see the presiding voltage has been reached. The timing is automatically calculated. Let's wait. Wait the timing is arrived at presiding time. Okay, now the timing is arrived at a, a presiding time. Then let's print the testing result. After the testing, please turn off the power. Unplug the power cable. And use the discharging rod. Slowly contact the capacitor for discharging. Next, remove high voltage output cable. Remove serial port cable, which connect uh, booster 1 and booster 2. Remove the two controller cables. At last, remove the ground wire.